why Alexander Volkanovsky versus Ilya Taporia is one of the most important fights ever. First off, I just want to say this video is not a fight breakdown slash prediction video. My fight breakdown, which I'm planning on being really good, is going to be coming out on February 11th. I haven't recorded it or made it yet, but I am really excited for that fight breakdown. So if you guys want to hear me break down this fight, watch my video on February 11th where I'm going to break down the fight down to the nitty gritty. But overall, in this video, I just want to talk about this fight because this card, UFC 298, in this fight is wedged in between the Sean strickland Drickus big matchup at middleweight at UFC 297, which we've already seen, and big cards coming up, 299, 300. And I'm not saying people are acting like this fight isn't a big deal, but I think because it's kind of in the middle, it's not the craziest card ever or anything like that. It's not a super stack card. It's a really good card and it's a really good main event. And I think people are aware of it. I don't know if they're aware of it to the level that maybe they should be. And I don't know if I am really either, but as time gets closer, as Volkanovski versus Taporia approaches, each day that goes by, I'm getting more excited, more nervous in a way, because I, I'm starting to feel like this is one of the biggest fights of the year. This is a massive fight. The stakes are extremely high. And in this video, I'm going to explain why this fight is super important, obviously. You may already agree that it's important, but maybe I make you more hyped for it. So that's kind of my goal with this video, because I'm looking at this fight recently with just this different lens i'm starting to understand the stakes a little bit more and i can't wait for it so when i say the stakes are high for both and this fight is absolutely massive one thing in one particular narrative that i'm focusing on is the obvious one the old versus young we're talking about alexander volkanovsky who's like 35 years of age and then Ilya taporia you know a young fighter in his mid-20s and a fighter that we haven't seen at the top of the UFC for a while. He's a fresh new contender in the featherweight division who's looked unbelievable so far. So people are saying that this could be the end of Alexander Volkanovsky because of his age. He's older versus this young guy who looks really dominant. But some people are thinking the complete opposite. Some people are thinking, you know, Alexander Volkanovsky with his championship experience will give him the edge over Ilya Taporia or he might just completely school him. And a lot of people have different feelings about this fight but a lot of it is based on the ages of these guys and the experience that they have because it is a big difference and it is unique for Alexander Volkanovsky to be having this situation because this hasn't happened in his title run so far. So to add on to this young versus old narrative you're going to hear the stat I guarantee it a bunch next week when fight week approaches. The record of UFC fighters over 35 years old between 125 flyweight division and 170 the welterweight division in title fights is now 2 in 31. Those two wins belong to Tyron Woodley. So I've heard this before. And this is one of those things that sometimes it doesn't change people's minds completely. I think people are aware of how great Alexander Volkanovsky is. So he could be an outlier in a situation like this. But we can't act like data doesn't matter. So this is really interesting because some people are super confident that Volk's going to school to Poria. And this definitely goes against that. You know, this is not favoring Volkanovski when it comes to the old versus young narrative. Now, we know Alexander Volkanovski is not 48 years old, but he is older and Ilya is really young, but is he too young? So these narratives come into play and that stat that I brought up is really interesting because it's a horrible record. 2 and 31 and we have seen the higher you go in divisions, divisions like heavyweight, the older you get, the more success you can have and we see a lot of like 35 year old champs. At featherweight, we haven't seen this. We have seen guys like Jose Aldo start to diminish as they got a little bit older in the featherweight division and Volks already had great longevity, but he is 35 and that age does matter. So the record of UFC fighters over 30 35 years of age is 2 and 31 with the two wins belonging to Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley was a guy who achieved the title a little bit older and one of those wins is the Darren Till win. Now I think this connects to the Alexander Volkanovsky versus Ilya Taporia fight because a lot of people are comparing it. They're like this young brash guy is going to get schooled. This reminds me of Darren Till versus Tyron Woodley. I've seen those comments. Now I will say this about this fight. Although on paper kind of that idea of that making sense does make a lot of sense you get an older champ in Woodley you get the young upcoming knockout finisher like Darren Till Ilya Taporia and I do think they're similar in a way but I don't think they have much similarity when you're actually thinking about this matchup although this isn't a prediction video I predict this fight to be really interesting and I do think it's going to be good and more competitive than Tyron Woodley versus Darren Till ended up being. So that's another reason to be hyped for this one. So don't be surprised if you see those comparisons on fight week and start to kind of think, oh yeah, Ilya's got no shot or something like that. No, I think 
I think that's wrong. I do understand the comparison that people are making, but I do think this scenario is different. And I do think Volkanovski versus Taporia is unique in a way, in the way that we're seeing this clash. But it could turn out very similar. And that's the thing about the young versus old narrative. This can play so many ways. Another factor that makes this fight so important and so interesting is I brought up that 2 and 31 thing and Volk's age, he is getting a little bit older and he's in a lower weight class. For me, as a massive Alexander Volkanovski fan, the title defense where it really feels the most dangerous in my personal opinion and i think a lot of people would agree with this i do think that this is the title defense if volk's going to lose his featherweight championship this may be it he's 35 years of age and this is around that point where we start to see people diminish but the thing about alexander volkanovsky is he's not normal he is alexander the great and he's always exceeding expectations he's always putting on great performances he's always surprising people but he's also coming off that loss against islam mahashev how will that chin affect him and that, i'm going to talk about more of that in my breakdown video but i do think there's so many factors going into this one that make it so interesting and so important and volk's legacy is massive as i said this feels like the defense where a lot of people are starting to maybe give up a little bit on volk start to believe he's going to lose now start to believe the guy's susceptible to losing or he can't take shots from power punchers and things like that. People are starting to doubt Volkanovski. And I think the stat that I brought up, the 2 and 31 thing is going to play into a lot of people really feeling like Ilya is going to end the unbelievable reign of Volkanovski, which is on the line here. And the reason why I think, the main reason why I think this fight is massive is because if Alexander Volkanovski wins, now, if Alexander Volkanovski wins, I feel like he passes that, certain area although Ilya is not the most credentialed fighter in the featherweight division it may not seem like the greatest win if he does defeat Ilya this win would be massive he beats a young guy we usually see fighters beat the guys of the past on the come up then they achieve the championship then they beat some current guys as their title defenses but then they lose to the next generation if Volkanovski is able to defeat the next generation who's going to beat this guy at featherweight we're talking about more maybe next generation guys but maybe he'll get back to facing some more current guys but maybe the next generation with guys like Mofsar Yevloyev and Arnold Allen will be potential future challengers but I do think Ilya is the greatest challenge in the featherweight division for Volkanovski and I do think if Volkanovski is able to get past Taporia not only could he potentially leave the featherweight division and bolster his featherweight resume which I already believe he's the greatest featherweight of all time this win would be massive he beats the next generation and it would just be so impressive and he's able to move on to more title defenses again i think Ilya is his best challenge in the featherweight division if he gets past him we could add on like two three more defenses and if he looks unbelievable against Ilya taporia like the guy's 35 years old we got to start talking about his longevity a little bit more now and how he's breaking the norms like that two and 31 record where tyron woodley's the guy with the only two wins if it wasn't for woodley people would be 0 and 31 over the age of 35 from flyweight to welterweight which is crazy in championship fights so if alexander volkanovsky is able to win this one it'd be so big for his legacy but people are starting to doubt him now and that's because of Ilya taporia and what a lot of people see in him if Ilya taporia wins this matchup the potential of Ilya taporia you got to think about it a lot of people most people some people still believe jose aldo is the greatest featherweight of all time but volk defeated aldo and you got to think if Ilya does defeat alexander volkanovsky the talk about him being the potential next greatest featherweight of all time people like to jump the gun i get that but Ilya has that potential if he does beat alexander volkanovsky especially if it's spectacular or something like that like it's a first round knockout like he's been saying there's a lot of things going into this matchup like the words between both if Ilya wins the potential of him the way people are going to talk about taporia the way he beat alexander volkanovsky and things like that no matter how he beats him if he beats him is so massive it's so massive because how young he is too we're thinking about it he beat champ at like 27 years of age like in our heads what we're going to be thinking is like man this guy's going to have like 10 title defenses unless volk looks like washed or something which i'm not expecting i know how good volk is i know how good Ilya is and they're going to clash and I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. I hope you guys understand how big of a fight this is. This is the young versus the old. This is when the old usually loses. The old should lose on paper here. But Alexander Volkanovsky throughout his career has been different. Will he continue to be different or is father time truly undefeated when he faces Ilya Taporia? who could be the next young future superstar. They could expand the UFC, go to Spain for the rematch, which I think would have to happen. And that would be a massive fight as well. And Ilya has potential future superstardom. 
and I'm a massive fan of both, so maybe that's kind of my bias for being so hyped for this one, but I think it's one of the most important fights in UFC history. It's not one of the biggest fights. I don't think the star power is massive here. Um, I don't think Volk's like a massive superstar or anything like that. This isn't like a UFC 300 main event. Well, maybe it is at this point, but this isn't the biggest fight ever as far as name value and pay-per-view sales, but it's a massive fight for martial arts, the validity of the sport, skill, technique, um, young versus old, great narratives, and the potential scenarios that could come out of this, like the way that we talk about Alexander Volkanovsky's legacy and his legendary status, which is already legendary, but it'd be crazy if he adds on. And the way we talk about Ilya Taporia as the next future of the featherweight division, future legend, future goat, and things like that, people are going to be saying some crazy things, and I'm preparing you for it. And yeah, we can talk about it all day, but man, nothing's going to prepare us for what's going to happen. There's going to be a big headline after this fight. Unless it ends in like a no contest or something like that. There will be a big headline. And that's something to look forward to as MMA fans. It's something I'm super hyped about. So tune in for my breakdown on February 11th. I'm really excited to do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, Alexander Volkanovsky versus Ilya Taporia. It may be more important than you think. And I believe it's one of the most important fights as far as just MMA overall in UFC history. So what do you guys think about that? Comment down in the comments below. And thanks for watching this video. Thank <laughs> you.